all of the people behind the Thread smart home protocol are kind of like, unlike stupid old Zigbee, Fred doesn't need a gateway. I mean, it needs a border router. Obviously it needs a border router, but it doesn't require a stupid Zigbee gateway. <laughs> Buy new shoes! So much more advanced than old shoes! Unlike old shoes, you can put new shoes on your feet and walk around! Thread border gateways are built into things like the Apple HomePod Mini and the Google Nest Hub Max, and in fact the Echo 4th generation, which has enabled the Thread marketing people to say, there is no hub. There is, it's just in here the same way as there is a Zigbee hub in the Amazon Echo 4th generation. It's literally no different. The reality is that just like Blu-ray beat HD DVD and VHS beat Betamax, Zigbee has now been beaten by Thread. And of course, Zigbee will still work in your smart home, but the industry is moving to something called Matter. And Matter will undoubtedly be using Thread primarily to communicate between devices instead of Zigbee. So if you're looking to future-proof your smart home, Thread devices ought to be the top of your list. And this is the first one I've ever tried. Is it any good? Let's find out. So cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Airversa for sponsoring today's video and for sending me the first ever, and in fact at time of filming, the only thread-based air purifier in existence. This is brand new and it is the Airversa Purell, which is in no way related to the hand sanitizer company that released this advert. Purell, because other humans are sexy, but also disgusting. It's uh, not a real advert. Today's video is a look at how awesome this air purifier is, and whether or not Thread really makes as much of a difference to your smart home as the Apple HomeKit fanboys would have you believe. It just works! We're going to look at everything from the setup process of a Thread device, to the range of the actual products, and everything in between. Let's do this. In the box is a terribly important instruction manual a power supply, and the unit itself. And the filters slide in very smoothly indeed. And where I'd normally make a sex joke here, I've had a few complaints. So no more sex jokes. Oh yeah! Ah! And the pairing process is where Thread really stands out. It's as simple as scanning a QR code on the device, and there's no third-party software here. There's no punching in of Wi-Fi details. It just wor- It just works! It just works. And this is what I love about Apple HomeKit stuff. Right from the outset, Apple CEO Tim Cook was like, Smart home manufacturers of Earth, you will do it our way or not at all. Echo, add milk to me shopping list. L Lord Vader, is that an Amazon Echo? Uh, no! It better bloody not be! Once pairing is complete, HomeKit automatically offers you the option to turn the air purifier off when the house is empty. One slider creates this routine for you. From there, you can just use the app straight away to control the device and use your voice. I hate to say it, but it just works. It just works! You know the last time you stubbed your toe on the end of your bed? Because you're not subscribed. I don't make the rules. Subscribe button just now. Press it. Press it now. Fine, stubby time. So to test the range of my first Thread device as a comparison between my other smart home products and protocols, I used my HomePod Mini and this air purifier by simply plugging the HomePod Mini into an extension at the bottom of my garden. It didn't really go as far as I expected, which after 10 minutes of testing in the rain, I was absolutely thrilled about. The air purifier is not responding. Oh, you're a f***ing The range does, however, reach from around the middle of my back garden. Turn the air purifier on. Okay, the air purifier is on. Woohoo! 
all the way to the front bedroom where my studio is. And with more thread devices, there would be better range because each device would act as a mesh repeater for one another. One thing that does amaze me about Thread is just how much of the product's capabilities are advertised to Apple HomeKit in this case. Whereas my old air purifier advertises power and fan speed to Amazon Alexa, this Thread air purifier is advertising power, fan speed, mode, and child lock to Apple HomeKit. But not only that, HomeKit can also read in the air quality data from the unit, which is something I have never seen on any other smart home manufacturer or protocol. Someone has farted. What a joke. This is a thing that you can actually do. And I don't know if that's a thread thing versus Zigbee. I, I assume Zigbee could do this, but thread is more standardized and I'm expecting more devices to have this level of information being passed to your smart home assistant. In fact, the only functionality on offer here with this device that isn't available to Apple HomeKit is night mode. And night mode is where it dims the lights on the top to try and stop you from being woken up and also cuts the fan speed to really, really low to help you sleep. You can't sleep. Open Gangnam Style. Oh. Stop it, Sai. Trying to sleep. And although you can't schedule night mode using HomeKit, you can actually schedule it in the Sleek Point app if you wanted to. The Sleek Point app can be downloaded from the App Store on Apple, and then you can just use it to do things like check graphs, and set screen brightness and change the level of the air quality ring light itself. So what's wrong with this device specifically? Other than not being able to schedule night mode through HomeKit and therefore needing a separate app if you wanted to do that, the only other thing is it's a premium product with a premium price tag. How much? I've got 2p, a cable tie and a suitcase padlock from your last holiday. If it's any more than that, you can forget it. I've actually stopped advertising the price of things on this show because every time I do, someone goes and clicks on the Amazon link and like, it's not what it costs. That's because prices change, they go up and down. This was filmed weeks ago. I'm, I'm speaking to you from the past because I'm a time traveler. If you go and check the link in the description, you'll be able to find out for yourself exactly what it costs right this second. The real elephant in the... The real, the real elephant in the room is that this only really works in the Apple ecosystem because it is thread based and Amazon haven't yet got their act into gear with actually releasing their thread router. It exists right now in your Echo, it's just not working yet. Google, I think, have theirs working, but you can't buy any devices, to my knowledge, that will actually work with thread on the Google speakers yet either. The only thing that works is Apple HomeKit until Matter exists. Once Matter is fully and properly released by all of the smart home companies, you'll find that Thread is used far more widely, and this device specifically is planned to work as part of Matter. It's worth noting that there isn't even an Android app yet. You have to have an iPhone to use any part of the smart home functionality, and you will need a Thread gateway such as an Apple HomePod Mini or an Apple HomePod to make use of the smart home functionality at all. If you plan to use it as just an air purifier, the buttons on the top obviously work with your fingers. They're uh, like tiny little thread water routers. <laughs> Whether Thread is better than Zigbee as a protocol is still very much up for debate, but I can't deny how much additional control I have over this air purifier than I would over a Zigbee equivalent. And it's amazing to see just how much better the Apple experience is as a consequence, both for ease of setup, but also for the purpose of creating automations. And this thing reacts in blistering time. As for the Air Versa Purell itself, it's a premium product with a premium price tag. And the reviews reflect that. Most of the people in the Amazon comments section don't even have HomeKit, and yet they're all banging on about how well it's cleared their asthma or their hay fever. It's one of the few air purifiers that doesn't look out of place in a posh house. 
It uses a true H13 HEPA filter for getting rid of smoke particles, dust, pollen, and pet dander, and although it doesn't detect VOCs, it does have an active carbon layer which can remove VOCs from the air, and a pre-filter for lint, pet hair, and fibers. Replacement filters are £30 a pair on Amazon, which I think is perfectly reasonable for a device such as this, and it's got a little indicator light on the top which will tell you when they need replacing. As I said, there are links in the description if you want to pick one of these up. There's also a link to my friend Alan, who has made an awesome video on using Home Assistant to measure air quality, so be sure to check that out too. He's a patron of mine and he's a really good guy. Please click the link, go check him out, subscribe to him, he's awesome. These people running down your screen are also patrons, and I am thanking them just like I do every single week, because without them, there genuinely would be no show. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm doing all this in a, an unusual order, so I'm going to get lost. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That would tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video, and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my TikToks and my Instagrams and all of those other things too. I almost got this right. If you want to come and hang out with me, we can be best friends. See you next time. Fred doesn't need a gateway. Hit myself in the face, didn't I?